guys so as always start off with a primed lid I'm using Elf's $1 line primer by Elf did I say that <laughs> and then use a sticky white base I just got this one off of eBay you can find these really anywhere just search sticky white bases <laughs> and then I'm taking a white eyeshadow out of my 120 palette of course and applying that to my brow bone as a highlight then I'm going to take this mix between a pink and purple almost like a fuchsia color and I'm going to be applying that into my crease this will be our transition color or this look and then just blending out the harsh edges because we don't want no harsh edges I say this every time no harsh edges so then I'm taking a bright bright matte yellow out the palette and applying that to the inner half of my lid just take a time with this because you really want to pack this color on I mean you really want to pack this color on so next I'm taking a bright bright neon pink color and applying that to the outer half of the lid. Just be careful not to touch the middle of the lid because we're going to save that for a neon orange. What? What? And we're going to be applying that to the middle of the lid to act as a transition between the fuchsia and the yellow color on the lid. You know? So next I'm going to take a deeper purple color. This color is going to be acting as our definition color and I'm going to be applying that right at the crease to give this look a little bit more depth and smokiness because you know how I do. Next I'm taking a little bit of a black color out of the palette and I'm going to be using Circular Motions with a blending brush from Coastal Scents and I'm going to be adding a little bit more of a smoky look to this look and then just blending out all the harsh lines so now I'm just touching up any color that I feel washed away when I was blending out those crease colors so just tweak it up to the opacity that you want it to okay that you want it to be Next, for the lower lash line, I'm going to be using a Wet n Wild Black Pencil Liner and I'm going to be applying that to the waterline as well as smoking it out on the lower lash line. So I'm going to make this as bold and as opaque as I want it. And then I'm just taking that deep purple color that we applied into our crease using a pencil brush and smoking out that lower lash line. Then I'm taking that neon pink color that we applied to our outer half of the lid and applying that to the lower lash line to blend out the harsh lines from that deep purple color that we smoked out and then some mascara to those lower lash babies. Then I'm taking, as always, my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in NC45 and contouring the heck out of my face. That's what I love to do. Man, look at that big mountain sitting on top of my face. That is not a good look at all. Next, I'm taking Sugar Bomb by Benefit and applying that to my cheeks. This is a very muted down blush color, so it won't overpower the look. It's kind of giving it a good balance. Next, I'm taking a Maybelline lipstick in Cold Crush and I will be applying this to the lips. And this is a beautiful coral color. I just love it. Yeah, I'm applying that to my lips, as you can see. Next, I'm taking this Wet n Wild lipstick in Dollhouse Pink and I will be mixing that with that Coral Crush. And then we are all finished. Thanks for tuning into this look with my crazy self. I hope you enjoyed this look, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.